ఫార్టీ నైన్ అంటే సంతానం ఫార్టీ నైన్ అంటే సంతోషం హాయ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఐడి రియల్ రియల్ ఎస్టేట్ డివిజన్ ఆఫ్ ఐడి మీడియా ఈరోజు వీడియోలో కూడా మనము జిఎల్ఎల్ మేనేజింగ్ డైరెక్టర్ సందీప్ పట్నాయక్ గారితో డిస్కషన్ చేయబోతున్నాము ఈరోజు టాపిక్లో వారిని అడిగి రెసిడెన్షియల్ గ్రోత్ ఎలా ఉంది ఒక ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ డౌన్ ద లైన్ ఎలా ఉంది ఇప్పుడు ఎలా ఉంది రెసిడెన్షియల్ సెక్టర్ యొక్క యుఎస్ పీస్ ప్లస్ అండ్ మైనస్ థింగ్స్ మనం డిస్కస్ చేద్దాము నమస్తే సందీప్ పట్నాయక్ గారు కెన్ యూ టెల్ మీ సార్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద రెసిడెన్షియల్ స్టేటస్ వే బిఫోర్ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ అండ్ నౌ వాట్ ఈస్ ద స్టేటస్ ఇన్ హైదరాబాద్ yes i think i think it's a sea change it's like north pole and south pole five years back uh, if you see the average uh, selling price uh, in and around high tech city gachiboli five years back i'm talking of uh, 2017 and all was hardly anywhere between uh, 4500 yes. to 5000 rupees and stuff like that now uh, it is nothing less than uh, 9000 rupees to it goes up to 11000 rupees so mm-hmm. so one of the uh, steepest increase in india in terms of the uh, uh, residential uh, price uh, as far as flat is concerned and all those people uh, who who uh, who are coming back to hyderabad let's say from us or somewhere after 3 4 years quite surprised uh, with the with with where the residential sector has behaved right? mm-hmm. i will tell you the the pros as well as the cons yes now what is have to always uh, the uh, residential 5 uh, years back 4 years back hyderabad residential was not talked about in india everyone is to talk about residential in gurgaon or bangalore and all but i think uh, it was high time that people talk about uh, good quality residential development in hyderabad and 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 then also the pricing okay so what happens is that uh, uh when when you talk of a product of 4000 rupees to 5000 rupees it can go either way this is when the ma- it be- the margins becomes very less for the developer when you sell a product at 4 to 5000 rupees because in- input cost is going up right so what uh, was the reason sandeep why they sold it 4 to 5000 five years back the demand was not there to be very honest mm-hmm. right and the demand and all credit goes to the present government of uh, kcr garu and ktr garu uh, as you know the it is one of the uh, it employment is one of the biggest thing which helps the uh, sales of the residential apartment right, right. so around uh, when when this government uh, came uh, the trs government came uh, in 2014 that time hardly 2.5 to 3 lakhs people were employed directly in the it sector now it has reached to 8 to 10 lakhs people right oh. and 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 so you can imagine how this it sector and under uh, the able government the employment also, increased okay. to 5 to 6 times yes so so as a result uh, the residential prices have went now that uh, residential prices have gone there is a decent margin for developer uh, to make a good product right at mm-hmm. a 4 to 5000 rupees selling price you cannot make a good product because margins were not there right yes uh now that is the positive side of it good quality residential developers are coming developers from bangalore and other cities are also coming and plus you have uh, home grown developers Uh, like aparna and raj pushpas and and jayveris who are doing very good uh, residential apartments right but now if i have to talk about uh, the the little bit the cons or the or the or the negative side of it i think see what is happening is uh, too much of inventory is built too mm-hmm. much of supplies coming in uh, residential right and it it was as you said uh from 2000 uh, i'll say though this government came to power in 2014 in the real development uh, or or that that push came from 2016 january right. last 6 7 years it was only one way up when it comes to the growth and the pricing and the demand and all right which area maybe uh, west mostly west mostly west right, right. but one good thing um uh, uh for the last 3 years we are seeing that last 3 to 4 we are seeing people's interest in different parts of the uh, hyderabad mm-hmm. which was not there earlier it was always about west now you see what kompali has become what medchal has become right the interest in that part of the uh, the city right. and slow the interest is coming in samshabad also earlier what is to happen 5 years back all the interest was on the western quadrant but now we are seeing the interest of residential in uppal towards your medchal and kompali Uh, towards shabshabad so city has to grow in all direction otherwise it will get choked so that is a good story yes where i am little worried about is that first of all uh, the residential growth has happened very fast in last for 5 years but i f- i feel that now uh, earlier a two bedroom house in a good location in and around high tech city or, or gachiboli financial district kokapet you you can used to get at 60 lakhs to 80 lakhs 85 lakhs max right. now you will not get a two bedroom house less than 1 1 crore to 1 crore 10 lakhs so the, yes. the so so what happens it is becoming slowly slowly little costly the the hyderabad real estate right and 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 that is that is my uh, little bit of i'm worried about that the cost is the selling price or the 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 end ticket uh, size for the for for the middle class family it's becoming slowly slowly little bit uh, costlier 
right and also what happens is that as you know the hyderabad has is the only city uh, in in india which is a unlimited fsi right yes, in a way. Yes. so 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 earlier five years back people were talking of in residential construction people were talking of 180000 square feet to 2 lakh square feet per acre construction now people are talking of 3 to 4 lakh square feet per acre right so yes, it's yes. becoming taller it's becoming denser and stuff like that so right? vertical growth is happening uh, vertical growth is happening right mm. so so it will have an uh, direct impact on the city infrastructure on the roads on the traffic on the drainage and stuff like that right yes absolutely so so that we are already seeing that right mm. so so more the denser the more fsi someone builds it the more the impact on the city infrastructure right? right so so that is something which is we already started seeing and 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 then we will see in future also that is the second worry of the development as you know always development comes with its own set of worries and this is yes, one yes. worry the impact on the on the on the uh, city infrastructure but if i have to ask me in the residential what has happened good in last 4 5 years is the quality of construction has really improved right mm -hmm. now earlier it was all cookie cutter designs and now innovative designs are coming and the quality of finish the quality of construction has improved and and, and technology has improved so so hyderabad residential has really seen uh, in last 4 years a lot of dev lot of lot of improvement uh, in this side as a result a lot of uh, outside hyderabad developers also trying to come uh, right is, right already brigade is there your shobha is there and then the other prestige developers are, and yeah, prestige yeah. is there the other developers are uh, coming right so 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 only we have to see that there is a huge oversupply happening in hyderabad right well, and, what is the reason uh, sandeep for the oversupply because uh, developers are not uh, pre planning this their uh, schedules or they are constructing just like that it's i think hurt my hearts mentality yes so see i i i have no no uh, i will not hold uh, my 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 uh, uh, emotions or feelings on this when i say that uh, developers are not doing the proper homework on the supply and demand matrix yes right so it is like a hurts mentality if someone is doing let's do it right so i i see a lot of oversupply uh, in 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 future from the residential uh, sector right yes yes and and i i wish uh, developers do their homework much better right and when it comes to uh, what is the potential and how much absorption what is the total uh, absorption in a year and what is the supply coming in that year and stuff like that i think i think it is not only i i feel that uh, across india or globally the the real estate is a very sentimental driven and a very herd mentality driven if someone yes. is doing let's do it right yes. but that is something i will not say is not only only related to hyderabad or andhra and telangana developer it is happens we have seen that is happened in uh, noida greater noida in in in, in gurgaon also in, in in past and all but yes there is a huge oversupply in residential and my my advice to residential investors as well as developers be little cautious and and invest in those properties which has a good brand uh, value in those developers who has a good balance sheet uh, right strength. right and 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 and, and uh, location should be uh, decent where you can do it yeah so well, thank you so much sandeep garu thank you so much giving the right input for the residential people ipudu sandeep patnaik garu cheppinatuga hyderabad residential market oka 5 samvatsaral kritham ela undante ఒక నాలుగు వేల నుంచి ఐదు వేల రూపాయల స్క్వేర్ ఫీట్ అమ్మేటువంటి వాళ్ళు ఈ రోజుల్లో అది పదివేలు పన్నెండు వేలకు స్క్వేర్ ఫీట్ చొప్పున వెళ్ళిపోయింది దీనికన్నా కారణాలు ఏంటంటే వేరియస్ కారణాలు ఉండొచ్చు మార్కెట్లో కానీ వారు చెప్పేది ఏంటంటే సప్లై డిమాండ్ అనేది కరెక్ట్గా లేకపోవడం వలన ఇప్పుడు లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్వెంటరీ అనేది పైలప్ అయిపోయింది కాబట్టి కస్టమర్స్ అనేవాళ్ళు చాలా జాగ్రత్తగా ఆచితూచి డెసిషన్ తీసుకోమని చెప్తున్నారు కాబట్టి ఇలాంటి గైడ్లైన్స్ని మనం పాటిస్తే బాగుంటుందని సందీప్ గారు అడ్వైజ్ చేస్తున్నారు మనము వారికి థ్యాంక్స్ చెప్తూ మళ్ళీ నెక్స్ట్ వీడియోలో మళ్ళీ కలుద్దాం అప్పటి వరకు సీయూ టేక్ కేర్ బాయ్